uh, irritation to the eyes, uh, tickling in the back of the throat and things like that. And African dust has swept into our area. A look at the various health concerns that come with it. Thanks so much for joining us. What we saw today is not your typical summer haze. No, it's not. A cloud of dust uh, from the Sahara has blown over the Atlantic and landed, you know where, right here. Chris 6 News reporter Nikila Paradier is in the studio tonight. So Nikila, explain to us how will this dust affect us? Well, Steph, it really depends on the person. If you have a history of breathing problems, it might not be so fun to be outdoors this weekend. But even if you don't, this dust could still irritate you. Jennifer Miller says a Friday evening at the park is typical for her and her two children who both have asthma. Before we come out here, I have to give them the rescue inhaler before they come do any kind of activity. This weekend, she'll be keeping a closer eye on them. Hello. Get it! and the skies now that this dust from the Sahara is here in the coastal bend. West Texas, yeah, so um, dust storms there. So, I mean, you, can, you cannot go outside, it gets so bad. So I'm like, no, it's great. Amber Davis, who used to live in Big Springs, says she wasn't too bothered by the dust today. Neither was her friend Kyle Armour, who's from Louisiana. No, I was good, and I'm a smoker, so it was all right. But people like Kyle and Jennifer Miller's children are some of the people who are likely to suffer the most from the tiny particles that make up this dust cloud. People with asthma, chronic respiratory disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and allergy um, may notice uh, considerable problems during this time. Dr. James Mobley says these people can help themselves by staying indoors and following their medical routine. It's very important, especially for folks that use inhalers or other medication as preventives. Take your medicine like it says. That's what Jennifer Miller says she'll do if her family has another outdoor activity this weekend. Hopefully they'll sleep in. If not, then I'll just give them the inhaler and their steroids and keep them asthma free medicated and they'll be fine. Like As for Amber and Kyle. Yeah. Keep your eyes closed. Keep, yeah. I'll keep them advising with you. <laughs> I have some. Yeah, might want to keep that visine handy because if you don't have respiratory problems, you could still deal with things like irritation of eyes, coughing and a scratchy throat. And anyone who experiences these symptoms may even have to deal with them for a few days after the dust blows out. Stephania. All right, just keep that allergy medicine handy. Thank you, Nikila, for that.